Stand by, quiet on the set. Stand by, quiet on the set. All in the Family, a comedy sitcom created by producers Don Nicole and Norman Lear, made world-changing records. The sitcom consisted of four main characters, Carol O'Connor as Archie Bunker, Gene Stapleton as Edith Bunker, Rob Reiner as Michael Stiffick, and Sally Southers as Gloria Bunker Stiffick. In 2013, the, TV, the Television Critics Association honored All in the Family with its Heritage Award for its cultural and social impact on society. The episode Sammy, Sammy's Visit begins as Archie comes home excited because while he was out driving his cab, one of his passengers was the legendary Sammy Davis Jr. It seems that Mr. Davis left his briefcase in the cab and wants to come by the house to pick it up. Archie tries to keep the singer's visit under wraps, but Edith can't help blabbing. First Lionel comes over, then his mother, then Barney Heavener. Finally, Sammy requests a picture with him and Archie, and at the last minute, kisses him on the cheek. The title of the episode is Sammy's Visit. Archie, except for all of the other characters, continue to discuss his dislike for colored people, which plays into the main conflict of racism. The episode effectively discusses the issue of racism during that time, but in a very comical way. Like when Sammy has a sort of passive-aggressive talk with Archie telling him that he's no better than anyone else. You see the dynamics within the episode. Even though this episode was aired in 1972, this episode still applies to the issues today revolving racism. All in the Family did not stay on air, did not stay on air for only eight years because of flaws within the seasons. When watching Sammy's visit, I found nothing wrong at all revolving the episode, nor any distractions in the storyline. If I had to give this episode a rating, I would give it five stars automatically. No doubt about anything. On April 29, 2013, director David Borans aired another brilliant episode to the Bone series, The Secret and the Siege. The episode was the season finale, and it surely did leave the audience, and especially me, wanting more. In The Secret and the Siege, Pallant, Andrew Leeds, returns to pretty much terrorize the people in his, in his way. Instead of targeting people he doesn't know like he used to, he's now killing people that he knows, such as the people in the lab. In The Secret of the Siege, Pallant has returned from his recovery from getting shot in the face by Booth, played by David Borans. He lets Booth know that he came back and that he will be targeting his family and his friends. Prior to this episode, Bones, Emily Deschanel, proposes to Booth that they should get married. And with Bone, Booth wanting to get married with Bones, he says yes. Pallant does not want that to happen, so he calls Booth to tell him that if he gets married with Bones, that he will start to hurt and kill his friends and family. Booth, being the guy he is, decided to do what Pallant says. Bones, being the woman she is and not showing emotion, she showed emotion when Booth broke the news to her. In this episode, it really does show how far Pallant can go. Pallant thinks of this as a game. This episode was amazing. It really gave such a huge conflict for the audience, including me wanting more. This episode showcased all of the things that people were wanting, such as Bones and Booth to get married. It really did break the heart of many people and also made people very mad at Pallant for telling Booth that he couldn't marry Bones. It really, did, it really broke my heart when I saw Bones crying because Booth pretty much rejected her marriage. She says she was okay with it, but we all know that Bones has a heart somewhere in that hard shell that she has. Hi, my name is Brianna Rue and I'm going to be talking about The Beautiful Thing. Released in 2012, The Most Beautiful Thing is a drama and romance short film. Winner of Best Film in starring Nick Lopez and Annalisa Gutierrez at the LACHSA Mundanense Film Festival directed by Cameron Covell. It stars Nick Lopez, Best Actor, and Annalisa Gutierrez. The Most Beautiful Thing is a modern romance about Brandon, a lonely boy who meets a young girl named Emily who has a difficulty. He falls in love with her, but his lack of confidence keeps them from being together. What was good about this short film is that it is focused on two people that have differences, but found a way to connect with each other and end up falling in love. You know how you get into a really good movie and wish it was longer? That's how I felt about this one. I will give this short film a 5 out of 5 and recommend it to everyone because it is very positive and heartwarming. American Dad Season 3 Episode 13, Black Mystery Month, is about Steve Smith, voiced by Scott Grimes, while researching a paper about George Washington Carver in, in celebration of Black Mystery Month, Steve uncovers a, co a conspiracy that, been, that has been going on since the Civil War. Steve finds out that there is a conspiracy against George Washington, claiming that he was in fact not the creator of peanut butter. Steve goes on a dangerous journey to find that there is a secret organization called the Illuminati, whose sole purpose is to protect, 
protect the origin of peanut butter. Steve finds out that his father, Stan Smith, voiced by St Seth MacFarlane, is a member of the Illuminati. Hello, welcome to Tierra Reviews. I'm Tierra Burton and today I will be reviewing Two and Two. Two and Two, created by Bavarka Avari, is a short drama filled seven minute long foreign film released in 2011. Bajam Damashed, the teacher, Raji Kamari, student one, and Pajani Loti, student two, were the main actors in this short film. The film nominated for one BAFTA Film Award for Best Short Film in 2012 and was nominated in the Oldenburg Film Festival for Best Film Award in 2011. The film is about an Iranian classroom that gets a new type of study habit called follow your teacher's lesson to the letter, or in this case, film's case, the number, meaning two plus two equals five, which could be the end of the students, literally. The actor's chemistry of how they feared the, stu the teacher and how it was looked upon at the same short sort of direct dictatorship and how they conveyed the drama, even with the lack of props, was excellent. The setting conveyed a st strict, uptight disciplined area that doesn't take any foolishness by using a small, drab-colored, one-windowed classroom. The believability of the acting was great, and the story really pulls you in. However, this film could be looked upon as morbid and tragic. Also, it can be confusing to some and hard to grasp because many think that the purpose that the purpose of some actions in the film are confusing. All in all, this film is great, and I would definitely recommend this film for everyone because of the film's the storyline and the acting. So I give it five out of five. Join me next week, same day, same time, on Tierra's Reviews for the next blockbuster hit, Kela, what you say? By Juanita Burton. Thank you and good night.